This doesn't start with a motor, or a propeller, or even a blade. It starts with a pulse, a rhythm that has existed for hundreds of millions of years. You've seen it before, floating silently beneath the waves, glowing faintly in the deep. The jellyfish. And while it might not look like an engineer's blueprint, something about its movement has quietly stunned scientists. Because it doesn't just drift, it moves with one of the most energy-efficient patterns known in nature. And now, engineers are watching. I mean watching. Because what if the future of propulsion doesn't spin at all? Nature's most efficient mover. To understand how revolutionary jellyfish-inspired systems are, we need to look at the jellyfish itself. It doesn't swim like a fish or dart like a squid. It pulses. It contracts and relaxes over and over, using its bell-shaped body to push against the water. Each pulse sends a vortex spinning away like a smoke ring underwater. Then, as the bell resets, it draws water back in, creating a second vortex. This process, called passive energy recapture, is incredibly efficient. The moon jellyfish in particular has stunned scientists. When they compared thousands of creatures, runners, flyers, and swimmers, they found that the lowest cost of transport of them all, that's a fancy way of saying, it uses the least energy to go the farthest, which is exactly what engineers want from propulsion. The jellyfish has no skeleton, no fins, no fuel, just muscle, water, and time. And it wins. It moves like it's hardly trying, because it isn't. Its motion is not only elegant, but also mathematically effective, shaped by millions of years of evolution. And when you see it glide, slowly, steadily, you begin to wonder, why haven't we designed our machines to move like this all along? Aqua Jelly, robots that glide like nature. Festo, the German company famous for its biomimetic robots, tried to replicate the jellyfish's movement. They didn't build a spinning blade or a mechanical fin. They built Aqua Jelly, a basketball-sized robot with eight flexible arms. No skeleton here either. Instead, each tentacle bends to create a traveling wave, like the muscles in our intestines. This type of motion is called peristalsis, and it creates the vortex patterns jellyfish use. Inside the robot, a central motor pushes the tentacles in a rhythm. The result? A calm, floating robot that doesn't slice the water, but dances through it. It's not fast, but that's not the point. Aqua Jelly is designed for efficiency and teamwork. Each unit uses sensors to avoid collisions and swims in groups. In the future, swarms of these could monitor water systems, collecting environmental data with minimal energy. They might not carry cargo or race across oceans, but in a world looking for subtle, low-impact solutions, they make perfect sense. And visually, they're mesmerizing. Watching them move feels less like robotics and more like witnessing a new form of underwater life. This isn't just engineering, it's the merging of machines with the rhythm of biology. Tentacles to grippers, the versatility of Finray Tech. The soft, flexible arms of the Aqua Jelly aren't just for swimming. They're made with Festo's Finray technology, originally inspired by fish fins. Instead of bending like a jointed robot arm, these structures flex and twist like living tissue. That makes them ideal not only for swimming, but for gripping. In factories and labs, robotic arms using Finray tech can adapt their grip to fragile or irregularly shaped objects, just like fingers. This crossover is what makes bio-inspired tech so powerful. You start by trying to copy a jellyfish and end up with tools that can revolutionize everything from underwater monitoring to robotic surgery. The key is in the structure, simple, soft, and passive. No gears, no blades, just material that reacts intelligently to pressure. It's another reminder that evolution solutions often outshine our mechanical instincts. And when we stop trying to reinvent the wheel or the propeller and start listening to nature, we sometimes find better answers. The fact that the same structure can mimic both motion and grasp adds a new layer of efficiency. One material, two functions. It's the kind of elegant engineering nature has mastered, and we're just catching up. 
From robots to real boats, the Finex system. Moving from lab experiments to the real world, a company called Finex is trying to bring jellyfish-like propulsion to boats. Their invention? A system called the Finesse. It doesn't use a propeller at all. Instead, it pulses a flexible membrane, sending waves through it, just like a jellyfish's bell. This undulating motion creates a jet of water behind the boat, pushing it forward. There's no spinning, no blades, just movement. It's quieter, potentially safer for marine life, and less likely to get tangled in ropes or seaweed. They claim it's the first membrane propulsion system of its kind. In theory, it's a dream for small boats. But there's a catch. While the concept looks beautiful in animations and short demos, the real-world version is still elusive. At a trade show in Amsterdam, their full prototype wasn't on display. Just a small pump running on the same principle. Still, even without the hardware, the idea is worth watching. Because if they can get it right, this could be a game-changer. The membrane that moves water. At the core of the finesse system is a simple but elegant idea. Use a magnetic coil to move a membrane. When electricity flows through the coil, it pushes a magnet back and forth. That motion creates waves in the membrane, like ripples on a pond. The water is pushed from one side to the other, creating thrust. It's essentially a pump turned sideways and aimed backward. The company demonstrated this with their BGE pump, a small device that moves water using the same principle. It's compact, quiet, and surprisingly effective for its size. The beauty lies in scalability. Need more power? Use a bigger membrane. Need subtle control? Adjust the wave frequency. Unlike spinning blades, this system doesn't rely on turbulence. It flows, and that changes everything from energy consumption to underwater noise levels. While the demonstration was small, the idea behind it is scalable, adaptable, and undeniably clever. But as always, proof lies not in theory, but in action. Now first, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video. Thank you. Why spinning might be outdated. Propellers have ruled for centuries. They work, they're fast, but they also have problems. They're noisy, dangerous, and inefficient in certain conditions, especially at low speeds or near delicate ecosystems. Membrane-based propulsion offers a quieter, more eco-friendly alternative. Think of coral reefs, research submarines, or autonomous water sensors. In these environments, subtlety and safety matter more than speed. And while membranes might wear out, they're cheap and easy to replace. For some applications, that trade-off is well worth it. The real challenge isn't in building them, it's in proving them. Engineers need data, thrust levels, power usage, endurance. Only then can these systems move from the fringe into mainstream use. And yet, in certain areas where traditional systems fail, shallow waters, biosensitive zones, or stealth operations, membrane propulsion might be the only viable option. Still, it's hard not to be captivated by the potential, especially when nature's already done the testing for hundreds of millions of years. What we still don't know. Despite all the promises, many questions remain. How do these systems hold up under long-term use? How do they perform in salt water with debris under load? What's the maintenance cost compared to a propeller? Without real-world testing, much of this is unknown. And while aqua jelly is a beautiful proof of concept, it's not dragging cargo or cutting through currents. The same goes for finesse. Until we see numbers, watts in, thrust out, it's still a prototype in spirit. But that's the story of all innovation. First, the idea. Then, the frustration. Then, slowly, the shift. If even one of these technologies proves scalable and reliable, the ripple effects could be enormous, especially in a world desperate for low-impact energy solutions. Investors, too, will want more than elegance. They'll want reliability and returns. Real engineering breakthroughs happen when performance meets persistence. So far, the potential is there. 
But the next step has to be substance over spectacle. Why jellyfish might shape the future. It sounds strange to say, but jellyfish might just help shape the future of propulsion. Their method is slow, but supremely efficient. It relies on the principles of fluid dynamics, not brute force. And it aligns with where technology is headed, towards sustainability, softness, and systems that do more with less. As climate pressures grow and noise pollution becomes a bigger issue in our oceans, alternatives to propellers will matter more. From underwater drones to recreational boats, from pumps to remote sensors, there's room for quieter, gentler motion. And if those systems look more like jellyfish than jet skis, maybe that's a good thing. After all, we've copied birds to fly and fish to swim. Perhaps it's time to learn from something a little softer. The future won't be built on noise alone. It may come from silence, from small pulses, from the rhythm of a creature that predates dinosaurs and still outswims us all. It's easy to overlook the jellyfish. It has no teeth, no brain, no bones. But it has something else. Efficiency. Movement so perfectly tuned, it outperforms nearly every creature on Earth. And now, quietly, our machines are beginning to reflect that. The future of propulsion might not be found in roaring engines or gleaming rotors, but in the soft pulse of a translucent creature beneath the waves. These jellyfish-inspired designs aren't just clever, they're necessary. In a world seeking harmony between motion and energy, nature still holds the best blueprint, and we're just beginning to read it.